we've got another rainy day here at the cabin, so we're gonna do some inside work. We're gonna make a whole house fan out of a radiator fan. So I got this uh, radiator fan through Amazon, and uh, I hope you can hear me over the rain. So we're gonna case this in and wire it up. This is a 24 volt version. I'll put a link to a 12 volt version. Um, so everything in my cabin runs on 24 volts, so I I would have liked to just buy a fantastic fan or something like that, like an RV fan, but I couldn't. And I couldn't find a 24 volt version, so we're going to use this. I'm pretty sure I know, but we're going to test which way this thing blows just to make sure by hooking it up to this switch really quick. Wow. So I got some insect screen here. So you can see. This is like wrapping a Christmas present. I never was very good at that. Sometimes my wife would see my handiwork and just laugh. So I got this hardware fabric that um, I was going to use to skirt the cabin and I'm going to steal some of it to put on this so that I don't get like squirrels or whatever in here or mice. I've seen them climb up the walls. Right. That was tedious. from this fuse block right here upstairs to power the lights and the whole house fan that I'm going to install in the loft.
feed this Smurf cable up and through. I can't believe that just happened. All right, we're going to put this fan right in here. I, I wanted to put it above the window, right at the peak, but there's not enough room. And I, I don't think I want to put it on the other peak because I'd have to climb up a ladder every time I want to do anything with it. So we're going to put it right here. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong end. Okay, there we go. Be better if I could fit it in the peak but I just can't I don't have enough room to fit it up there uh, it's not even close so so we're going to control this by a three-way switch so we're going to put a box down here and run power through a switch to a box up there and then to the fan. So I made a video about how to do this. The one that I did in the video was a middle of run. This is going to be an end of run fixture. And I'll, I'll put a link to that video up above. Alright, I just cut this Smurf cable so that it goes to this box right here that I just put on. Okay, since we're running a three-way switch, we're going to send up two positives and a negative because we need those two positives to be our travelers and I'm just taping it to make getting it through the Smurf cable easier. It might be easier to snake this down. We'll, we'll see if this doesn't work. We'll snake it the other direction. I can see it come out up there. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so we've got our DC rated three-way switch here with traveler on the outside, another traveler on the outside, and a common in the middle. So when I made the video about how to wire a three-way switch for DC power, the, one of the biggest questions I got was, why don't you just use normal AC switches? And you could use them and they'd probably work for a while, but they're really not made to handle the arcing that DC produces. So there's a good chance that they'll just burn out eventually from all the arcing. They'll get pitted and they won't conduct. Um, so it's better to use these. Okay, we're going to strip our two positive travelers, put our connectors on them. We use our wire crimper. Okay, connect to one common, 
or sorry, one traveler. Got one traveler connected. Got another traveler connected. It's a lot of extra wire I left there. It's all right though. All right, so now we need a positive wire long enough to go back to the fuse box. So basically, go from here just over back here, so that doesn't need to be very long. And one end, we'll put a connector for our switch. So this is our common, also known as power in or power out of the switch circuit. Let's connect that, that's connected. And now we'll take that and our neutral back to the fuse block. Excuse the blown out background. And I, li I like to use corresponding pins so that I know that like, so I'll connect the positive here and I'll connect the negative there and I'll keep that same pattern so that I know which positive and negative go together. Alright. There's the negative. this switch up here so nothing covers it, no beds or anything. I'm just going to space it off the window a little bit. All right, we're just going to take this tape off. All right, so we're going to leave our, uh, our negative down there and we're going to bring our two positives up to where the switch is going to go right up here okay and those are our travelers so let's get some connections on them I'm just going to strip the end of these take our switch that has a common in the middle, it's a common, two travelers, and these are our travelers, so we connect it to each traveler. Okay, so now we got that connected like that, and so we're going to need a piece of red wire that's long enough to go from this common back into the box, down, up, and connect to this wire. So we got that right here. You know, if you were doing this for um, like a car or something, you'd probably want to solder these, but since there's no real vibration here, we're not doing that. that we just left alone. Wire staples and clean it up a bit. All right, and the instructions say to use a 15 amp fuse. So we'll put that in. I don't know if it's on or off. It is on. Woo. Put our cover on. Okay, let's test out this switch down here.
Looks like it's working. Okay, let's check this thing out. Test out this switch up here. Seems to work good. Okay, so why did I bother putting that in? This cabin has R40 in the ceilings and R19 in the walls, and insulation can work for you or it can work against you. This place slowly heats up during the day, and then at nighttime, the temperature drops and the air inside the cabin, especially up towards the ceiling, is hotter than the air outside. So what we do is we open these windows up and then turn on that fan and it sucks the cold outside air in and it pulls the hot inside air out. Alright, well it started raining and the air outside got really cold so I turned on this fan and it's making a huge difference. You can feel the cold air coming in the windows and the hot air up on this roof is just getting sucked outside. It, it really works. All right, well, that wasn't really the video I intended to make today, but it pretty much rained all day, so sometimes you gotta take what nature gives you. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.